what is Skeleton Crew and welcome back to Bones Graveyard. Today we're going to be playing a game called Her Apartment and I love this piano work right now. I want to make a full blown song to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get into this game after reading the description then we're going to make a song to it. Why not? You know like who knows maybe it'll be good. <laughs> Your elderly neighbour Miss Olsen is leaving town for a week and asks you to watch over her cosy apartment. The tasks seem simple. Water her plants, feed her cat and pick up her mail. However, things don't go as planned. Can you face the unexpected danger? Let's get into it. for the best prices? Let's go. When you order this mower within one minute, you will get two more for absolutely free. This offer is only for a limited time. Don't hesitate to call now. Hello? Hey Ray, it's Margaret. Sorry for calling so late, but I'm going out of state for a week. Could you please take care of my cat, water the flowers, and occasionally pick up my mail? I would really appreciate it. Oh, hello Mrs. Olson. Of course, I'd be happy to help. When I get home from work in the evenings, I can take care of everything you need. Great, thank you. I'm leaving tomorrow morning. Won't you come over to my apartment now so I can show you what you'll need to do? I'll be there in a minute. Miss Olsen lives in apartment number two. She is the best neighbor a person could ask for. I'm glad she trusts me with her apartment. Okay. That's gonna be our front door, right? Alright, number four, okay. Three? Do not knock. Ring. <laughs> Number two. Wow, looking good, Ray. You're a charming man. Thank you, Mrs. Olson. What should I do first? At the end of the hall is a door to my junk room. In that room, there's a watering can. Please bring it here. Here in the living room are the first two plants. Okay, so it's a button smash. Last two plants are in the bedroom. I'll wait for you here. Just me, or does Miss Olsen have a creepy undertone? Alright, I think we're gonna go feed the cat now. I usually feed Kitty half a can in the morning and evening. Since you're coming only in the evening, just give her a whole can then. The cans are in the kitchen. <laughs> that is a lot of cans. Meow food. Makes sense. Oh, hello! Oh, you're lovely! Look at you! Adorables. No need to get the mail today. I already did it. Here are my apartment and mailbox keys, plus $50. Appreciate your help. Oh, I got Thanks $50. a lot. I'll make sure everything's taken care of. Just in case. I'll write all the tasks down and leave the note here somewhere if you need anything. Feel free to call me anytime. See you next week. Take care and good night. Okay. Bye, kitty.
and I can run. Okay, but I can't crouch. I found that out. Oh, let's go back to my bum and go to sleep. It's a lovely place. Okay, this is nice so far. Once again, I still think that the neighbour has creepy undertones. I'm finally home from work. First, I'll pick up the mail from Miss Olsen and me. Okay, so, yeah, I was going to say this apartment building and mailbox is probably inside. Let's see. Some letter. Oh, I'll leave it in her apartment. And me. That's pretty wild. How does someone even escape from there? Did they find him before things get worse? Fear in town, authorities search for escaped psychiatric patient. The escape, in a chilling turn of events, the quiet town of Dwiles has been thrown into a state of shock and fear following the escape of a mentally ill man from the Dwiles Psychiatric Asylum. The man, identified as 65-year-old Mason Harold Whitmore, evaded the institution's security in what authorities are calling an unprecedented breach. Have you seen him? Call 555-113-2334 immediately. Community on high alert, we are doing everything in our power to locate and safely apprehend Mr. Whitmore, said Police Chief Margaret Ellis in a press conference held earlier today. We, are, uh, we ask the community to stay calm but alert. Do not approach him. Instead, contact the authorities immediately if you see anything suspicious. Descriptions of Whitmore have been wildly circulated. He is a 65 year old, stands approximately 5 foot 10 tall, and with a slender build and grey hair. Fine. Let's water our plants and feed the cat. You hungry? Don't say I can't say I'll do my best. Right, let's do this. Oh my god, look. Water the plants, feed kitty. Thanks again. <laughs> I have to do the plants first. Is it gonna happen on like the first day? Or is there just gonna be a random person behind me at some point? At least we'll know it's gonna be a 65 year old man. Done for the day, now I can go to my apartment and get some sleep. Another day, another mail collection. Do not bend. <laughs> it looks bent. Seriously, do not bend and it's bent. <laughs> I'll leave the layer in our apartment. <laughs> Hold on. Where's the plan? Is it somewhere else? Oh, oh, the guy's gonna be in here. Oh, the guy's. This is starting to freak me out. I'm gonna call Miss Olsen. Hello? Hello? Mrs. Olsen? I've got a problem. A plant is missing. The one in the living room. Hey, Ray. Really? Everything else is fine. Just one plant disappeared. Yes, well... It's here. It literally wasn't here a few seconds ago. I'm not crazy, am I? <laughs> Maybe you're tired. Sorry if I'm bothering you that much with my work. No, no. That's definitely from my work. I hate it there. Sorry to interrupt. I'm gonna go water them. Okay, I'm losing my marbles. There's definitely something in her apartment that's making me skits. Because if you look out the corner of my eye now, 
It's like a it's like a discoloration of shit. If I just realised that's where the cat is. <laughs> Will I end up in a psych ward? Time to feed the kitty, thank you cat. With the mountains of cat food. Done, I'm excited to go to my bed. Okay. We're good at this. We're having a great time. We're doing a great job. I wonder... I'm wondering what's waiting for me in the mailbox today. A new bank. Maybe I could put my money there. Amazing interest up to 0.03% per annum for your deposits. Square 38 Bank is now serving the community. Open your account today. Visit www.square38.js for more information. Fine. Let's go to our apartment. Okay, the plants are there. The cat is there. The mountains of food is there. I heard a noise. Does not fill me with confidence. Kitty is sure hungry. Kitty, you must have washed your bowl somewhere. Let me guess. There a moment ago. If I leave the food on the floor, okay. I'm tired. Funny, I can go to sleep. Yeah, just ignore the fact that Miss Olsen has like disappearing shit. You know, funny, I can go to sleep. There's something. There's something going on. My debit card for Square Eight Bank arrived today. I am very excited. Oh my god. I was really looking forward to this moment. My first debit card. What the heck? <laughs> Kitty's bowl. How did it open here? Let's go to her apartment. This is getting creepy. Oh. Jesus! What the was that? Oh. Oh. Disgustingly loud sound. Fuck. Screw it. I'm drunk as a skunk anyway. You're the one who's taking care of Margaret's apartment now, aren't you? Yes, that's me. Sorry if I disturbed you. What were you doing there so late yesterday? It was three o'clock in the morning. What? By that time, I was sleeping in my bed. I wasn't in her apartment. I saw you... I was coming back from the pub. You were waving at me from the window. Ah, uh, you were just seeing things. I was really sleeping. Drawing clothes, I'm making shit up. No, no he's not. There's something. There's something in here. There's someone in here. I don't want to be here. Seeing Kitty eating is the cutest part of the day. I can't wait. I guess the cat's not there. The cat is there. Let's get some sleep. If 
finally home. Today's my last day of taking care of Mrs. Olsen's pup. Oh, shout out to Bush. Boo. Sudden there. I'll leave it in her apartment. Sudden collapse, Square 38 Bank shuts down just two days after opening. <laughs> two days after its much anticipated grand opening, Square 38 Bank has announced its sudden and unexpected closure, sending shocks through the financial community and leaving customers scrambling to understand what went wrong. The collapse unfolds. Reports of trouble at Square 38 Bank begin to surface yesterday afternoon. Customers ex experienced issues accessing their accounts and conducting transactions leading to mountain anxiety. By early morning, the bank's management confirmed the worst. The bank's dismal start, with only four clients in the first two days, had forced them to shut down operations immediately. Impact on customers. For the four individuals who did open their accounts with Square 38, the sudden closure has resulted in significant uncertainty. This is a devastating blow, said one of the affected account holders, who preferred to remain anonymous. We trusted the bank with our funds, and now we're left wondering if we'll ever get our money back. Are you kidding me? My debit card arrived yesterday. Let's go to our apartment. I'm still waiting for something to happen in this room. Let's go feed Kitty for the last time. <laughs> you have a castle there. Done. I'm good to go. Good night, Kitty. For some reason, I feel like I need to <laughs> get a knife. This portion should be home by now. I'm going to return her the keys. I don't know, mail. Okay. Hi, Mrs. Olson. It's good to see you again. <laughs> Nine one one. What's your emergency? <laughs> There's a foreign man in my apartment. He attacked my neighbor, and now they're fighting. It's my apartment. Mine. Get out, everybody out. After the incident, police found two lifeless bodies. One was a twenty-four-year-old man. The other, a sixty-eight-year-old woman. Previous owner of apartment number two, Harold Whitmore, escaped from the scene. Police never found him. Thank you for playing her apartment. I'm very grateful that you bought my game and thus supported my development of future ones. If you like this game, you can rate it on HGO. Well, that was her apartment. Um, I really enjoyed that. I made me jump a couple of times. I felt that like shiv on my soul. I really liked the story, but I, I thought there would be something sinister about Miss Olsen. Maybe she was just a happy-go-lucky old person going on holiday, just enjoying her life. And I, I must have judged her wrong, but yeah, that would do though. <laughs> God no. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified of my upcoming videos. And until next time, my dear skeleton crew. Bone by arm.
apartment that belongs to Miss Olsen. Number two, carrying on, bringing food, sending her mail onto the chair. Then we get scared by a psychiatric patient And everything gets a little bit more dramatic As we lost our lives Trying to fight for the right from Miss Olsen's apartment After looking after her cat this because you try to help out with a flat oh, oh, oh. yeah deep <laughs>